Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have another trading method video for you guys on the channel. I wanna talk about another insane, profitable trading method, trading with these Road to the Knockout cards live during the UCL, during the Europa League, and during the Conference League games that affect these cards and their price on the market because it affects their potential upgrade coming later on in November and in December. We did this last year and the years before with Road to the Final cards. It is risky business trading with some of these cards, but if you know football and if you can watch the games and react to alerts on score, like if you have a, an app or a website, which we're going to talk about a few of them today, that will help you keep track of alerts in real time, some of these cards fluctuate incredible amounts based off of sometimes just one goal, right? Somebody, some team will score a goal and the card associated with that team will skyrocket in price in the next 10 to 15 minutes as people envision that upgrade potentially happening, right? It's insane. You're basically just trading off of the hype of these Champions League and Europa League games and it's so much fun. Now, I want to talk about, again, timing. Timing is a big thing with these cards, and if you've never traded with them before, you can do this on all budgets, right? There's Road to the Knockout cards that are 30,000 coins. There's Road to the Knockouts that are basically a million coins. So a lot of these cards are going to continue to move, especially this next week as we have more Champions League, Europa League, and Conference League games coming this next week, the first week, first full week of November. So if you're excited to learn how to trade with these cards, hit the thumbs up, and of course, subscribe if you are new. So let's talk about this, right? Because we've already had the match day three. It happened a couple of weeks ago. We had match day three and we had a ton of movements on these cards that were in packs and in the game at the time. Now I want to take a look at this Mukiele card because I'm not going to be able to go in and show you the actual daily movements of what happened a couple weeks ago when we were trading with this card or when this card moved, but it all boils down to how that player's team is performing. Of course, these Road to the Knockout cards get upgraded if their team moves on in the competition, right? We know how that works, but let's see it and let's see it put into action, right? PSG Leipzig happened a week ago. His final score was three to two. I know it's kind of hard to see. It's really small. This is a website that I use, SofaScore, uh, who scored, FootMob. There's a bunch of websites out there that will give you live updates when a team scores a goal. Those updates are huge for uh, timing the buys and the sale prices on these road to the knockout cards in this game. So let's let's look at this right here, right? Let's take a look at this timeline and I'll tell you exactly what happened with this Mookie LA card, right? So Kylian Mbappe scores, right? Of course, PSG are heavily favored. So this Mookie LA card isn't very expensive to begin with. He was like 58,000 coins last week when this game was played, right? Still in packs. That's why you saw his price drop off and they ended up losing. But during the game, this card had crazy fluctuations because this game was kind of crazy, right? So Mbappe scores, PSG go up 1-0. This Mookie LA card doesn't really move. What happens instead, though, is since it was the expected outcome, you see this Marquinhos PSG live item move up a little bit in price, but not really move, right? You didn't see a lot of movements off that first goal because it was expected. PSG was expected to beat Leipzig, expected to get the upgrade, but this is where things got interesting, right? Leipzig, Andre Silva equalized 1-1. So what happened was Marquinhos's card started to drop off in price because people were fearing that the PSG might not get the win or, you know, would drop some points and it would decrease his chance of both upgrades or maybe even one of the upgrades that Road to the Knockouts will potentially get. So you saw Marquinhos get sold off and Mukiele started to rise. Now it gets even better. Mukiele himself scored the second goal to go up 2-1 and now PSG is losing. So this is where prices really got interesting. This Mukiele card was about 48,000 coins on the market. Again, it doesn't show it on the daily graph because it was a week ago, but he went from 48,000 coins all the way up to 63, 64,000 coins in a matter of literally minutes. It was insane. It was incredible how people buy out these cards with that potential upgrade that they didn't see coming. Uh, it was it was honestly wild, right? And that is the trading opportunity that is uh, that's potentially there with these Road to the Knockout cards. You could have bought Mukiele when you saw that Leipzig scored the first goal and made a little bit of a risk and a gamble and said, hey, I think there might be a little bit of a comeback coming on here. Or since at least they, they drew, right? There's a little bit of hype with this card. He went from like 45K to 50K when they scored that first goal. 
So that was some hype you could have played into there. And then they scored the second goal and he goes all the way up to 60,000 coins. Now let's talk about some buy times and sell times. You have to be one of the first people to buy these cards when a goal is scored. That's why it is crucial to use updates on a sofa score or foot mob um, to get those alerts very fast. Uh, because a lot of people these days watch football on like on streams, right? Like streamed over the internet. So there's a little bit of delay. It's not exactly live. Those apps are live, right? They update basically immediately after the goal is scored. And then what you see is people get on the market to go buy that card up. And what happens is that card just gets massively inflated right away and you sell, right? It's a very short, it's a very short flipping window. Timing is everything, right? So Mukiele was 48,000 coins. He went up to like 63K in a matter of like, you know, from 48 to 60K, it probably took him like 10 to 15 minutes. And you, you kind of have to watch the card rise in price. Again, we do this all live on the Twitch streams, twitch.tv backslash forward slash, not backslash. I always say backslash. It's forward slash not backslash, but that link is down in the description. We do this live on stream and it's so fun, man. Some of the most fun streams that we have because we just wait for goals to be scored. We go and pounce on the market and just wait for these cards to rise up. We sell them into the hype, right? So you see Mukiele go from uh, 45,000 coins up to 60K and you're like, bang, I'm selling right there, GG. And you wanna take the quick guaranteed profits with these cards because just as we saw in this game, this game is literally the perfect example it was two to one after Mukiele scored that second goal. Then, of course, Messi equalized in the 77th and Messi hit a penalty in the 74th. So what happened was when this second goal was scored, Mukiele went flying. Marquinhos went down. Marquinhos at the time, he has exploded since then. But Marquinhos was like 750K pregame. He went up to like 760 after they scored the first goal and went 1-0 up. Then he went all the way down to under 700K. He was like 690, 700,000 coins at that time. And then when Messi scored these two goals, the penalty and then the 67th to put them back ahead, Mukiele dropped right back down to 40K. And guess who rose up? Marquinhos, right? It was incredible. That, this was the perfect game. When you have a lot of action like this or when you have multiple goals and the lead changing, you have so many potentials for profit with these cards. Same thing happened with Atletico Madrid and Liverpool, right? Uh, Mohamed Salah and Naby Keita, bang, bang, two goals right away. Andy Robertson's card goes from 200,000 coins to about 230K. Boom, W, right? I bought one and I sold it. Then Griezmann scores two. Griezmann ties the game up. You have Andy Robertson's card come back down to about 210,000 coins. And then, of course, uh, Mohamed Salah with the penalty in the 78th. Andrew Robertson's uh, live road to the knockout card uh, goes up in price because of that winning advantage. So again, when you're trading with these cards, it's all about speed. It's all about the timing, getting in when everybody is like, getting in before everybody else is starting to buy when a card like a Mukiele is about to go up or you know when a card like Marquinhos is about to go up because they just scored a goal. And it's all about selling at the right time too because you see the card go up in price, but a lot of people that just bought the card like you did are also gonna list up and they're gonna start undercutting with their cards on the game as well. There were big fluctuations with guys like Vidal because the Inter game had some interesting parts to it. Um, and he even scored, I think, one of the goals himself. Rodrigo and Real Madrid, they were expected to win, right? So if you have a card that is expected to win and the game just kind of goes like it's expected to, like let's take a look ahead of this week. Tuesday, right? We have got Bayern Munich and Benfica. So let's look at a card like Leroy Sané, who's 399,000 coins at the moment. Whatever price that he is, this coming Tuesday, when Benfica and when Bayern play, Bayern are obviously going to be big favorites in that game. So this Sané card probably isn't going to like rise too much pre-game, maybe a, a slight bit. Um, but what's really going to shake this card up in price is if Benfica were to score first. If Benfica were to score first, Sané would drop. And then, of course, Bayern would hopefully mount a comeback, and you would expect that, right? Watching these games, too, if you're actually watching these games live, you can get a really good sense of how the teams are playing, how you think they're going to perform, if there's going to be a comeback. So that's where some of the real-life IRL football knowledge comes into play as well. Same thing with, like, Barcelona, right? Who's our Barcelona road to the knockouts? De Jong. So we got De Jong, right? And they're playing Dinamo Kiev. So, you know, big favorites in that game, too. You wouldn't expect his card to move that much unless 
they get scored on. At Atalanta and Manchester United, Villarreal and Young Boys, Wolfsburg Red. Like, there's so many great games. Like this upcoming Tuesday, Malmo and Chelsea, right? Chelsea big favorites. But if Malmo were to score first, you never know, right? Or if Zenit was able to score first for your Juve card. I think our only Juve card uh, is the SBC item of um, Delict. But you kind of get the idea, right? And you can do the same thing with the Europa League and with the, the Conference League cards as well. But again, the biggest thing is the timing, right? It's the timing. And, you know, you can make some calls pregame as well. Like I mentioned with the Europa League, or with, with the uh, Liverpool game, uh, you know, Liverpool is playing very well ahead of their match last week when they were playing against um, Atletico Madrid. So if there's a team that is on a roll, like Liverpool is still on a roll at the moment, then you would maybe look at this Robertson card and say, okay, you know, I, I know it's going to be whatever. The, what's their next game? What's Liverpool's next game? They play on the second. Uh, Liverpool does not. They play on the third. Liverpool plays Atletico Madrid again. Right, so that'll be another interesting game to watch because both of these teams are up near the top of the table with Porto and Milan in there, uh, in this group. So you'll want to keep an interesting eye out to see if Liverpool can play up to their potential, and then you would see Robertson maybe go up a bit after that first goal is scored, or if Atletico Madrid were to score first, then you would have some interesting market movements with the Atletico Madrid Renan Lodi card. Whenever he becomes unextinct, whatever that day is, you might see that card go up right? Because Liverpool are playing so well, then you would see your Robertson card drop, right? Because that would mean maybe his upgrade, uh, maybe they have less of a chance of getting the three wins out of the four match days. So his card drops off a bit, right? It's all about the hype. So trading with these cards is risky. It is fun. It's so profitable. And it's, it's, it's one of the, honestly, it's probably the number one most like, um, the trading method that insinuates gambling the most on this game because it really is a bit of a gamble, right? Let's say if I'm, especially if I'm buying pre-game uh, or something like that, let's say I'm going to buy uh, this Robertson pre-game because I think Liverpool is going to win. They score first. Let's say this Robertson goes from like 270,000 coins to 300K, 310,000 coins in like a span of 10 minutes, right? Or something like that then boom, there's a little bit of gambling aspect in there too. But honestly, these cards are so fun to trade with. Now, if you're looking at this video and you're like, man, should I be buying some of these like before the games that are upcoming uh, in the next uh, like week, like this upcoming week? In my opinion, no, I, I would not buy these cards like a long or even a couple days ahead of time because honestly, what I would do is just wait until the game, right? Just wait until the game or maybe it's a couple hours before the game because again, this market is constantly changing and these cards, especially with Black Friday coming up, it's gonna be very interesting to watch these RTTKs uh, because Black Friday is coming and a lot of people sell cards ahead of Black Friday, but these cards maintain their value and they maintain their hype because right near that end of Black Friday timeframe in late November, that is when uh, these cards are going to be very close to their upgrades and probably a lot of them are going to be near or you would expect them to be near their kind of like peaking price early December time frame, like right before the upgrades will come out. So, you know, I would just be trading with these cards on a on a day to day basis. So this next week on the second and third um, of November, when we have these Champions League games rocking again. So basically on Tuesday, you just want to make note of who plays, right? Sané will be playing, De Young, Atalanta and Manchester United. So you've got Fred, right? Villarreal Young Boys, you have Dan Juma, Wolfsburg and Reds. Do we have a Wolfsburg RTTK card? Uh, for whatever reason, I don't know if, I don't know if we do have a Wolfsburg card, am I? Oh, Arnold. Okay, we've got Arnold. Well, that's a bit of a fodder card, but... He might look decent if he gets uh, upgraded. So keep an eye on Arnold for that game. Sevilla and Lille. We have a couple cards you could watch in there. Chelsea, of course. You've got the main man, Timo Werner. And then Juve, you've got um, De Ligt SBC. But then on Wednesday, Manchester City, Brug, Leipzig, PSG, Milan, Porto. A lot of these games are the same as they were in match day two because in match day, uh, sorry, match day three and four, a lot of these opponents are the same, uh, if not all of them are the same. So... That is what I would look into is trading with these cards as we get into this next week on Tuesday and on Wednesday. Seriously, that, that's how it works, right? That's how it works. It seems simple, right? It seems simple it, when we talk about it like, oh, Leipzig scores, Mukiele's card goes up in price, but it's all about the timing, right? And you just have to know the situation 
as well. You have to know the situation if that team is favored to win or if that team was an underdog, especially if that team was an underdog and they have one of these road to the knockout cards. That is when you see the biggest, biggest price fluctuations on these cards during a game or if you see a favorite get scored on and then come back, right? Let's say Manchester United with Atalanta this next week. Let's say Fred is like 350K pregame, but then all of a sudden Atalanta score one and go ahead. Well, we know what Manchester United happened the last time, the, the last match day, right? Ronaldo, Ronaldo came through and R Ronaldo did Ronaldo things. So you could potentially, if you see a big enough drop off on the spread card, if they were to get scored on first, you could potentially buy one, hoping that Man U would come back. And then if they do, you're going to see this card rise back up in price. Again, because it's all based around the upgrade. It's all based around the win. It's all based around the win and getting those wins upgrades for three wins out of the last four um, group match days. And then, of course, just advancing to the knockout rounds, as it says here on the news page, right? We know how these cards upgrade. So, so... Um, that is 100% trading with these cards. It's so much fun. It is so much fun. I mean, there's also potential for big losses in here too. As we get closer to the end, as these cards may or may not make it in to the knockout rounds um, and get their upgrades, we, we see incredible price. Like take a look at some of these prices from last year, right? Griezmann was 480,000 coins. Barcelona last year, right? Boom, they lost. He goes down to 280 thousand coins earlier in the year they lose it goes from 580k down to 396 so you're going to see tons of fluctuations on these cards and if you want to look at some of the graphs and how crazy they get like look at some of these from last year alfonso davies right take a look at this card he goes from team of the year 600k all the way to a mill but then looks at hap look what happens later on he goes down to 400k again right i mean klosterman was a very hyped up card rose significantly rose back down came back down Rose up big time in February, but then boom, Leipzig lost, and this guy goes from 590k to 457. So crazy movements on these cards during the games and after the games for sure. And we'll continue to talk about these, but this is something where as you're like, if you're on FIFA or you want to do something while you're watching these Champions League games, these cards are so much fun to do and to trade with and to fluctuation trade with uh, on the hype when you are actually watching the game itself that's why it's so much fun to trade with these road to the knockout cards and that's how we're going to make coins off these continually this year every single tuesday and wednesday that there are europa league games or that there are champions league games or i guess any match week where there are those uh, champions league competitions we'll be making coins on these in the live streams because it's just too fun and it's just an absolute blast with these cards trading with them on the market so if you did enjoy this video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out